Right you guys got another video here we're going to be building uh, the Windows 10 PE uh, using uh, the Win Builder. Uh, this is by Chris R as you can see here. Now I have made a video on this before and some people said that it doesn't work so I thought I'd make an updated video. You can see here this is where you need to get the package from. I'll leave the link in the video description and you will need the right version of Windows 10 and I'll show you how to get that also. So I've got these two on my desktop. Uh, this is the Win Builder uh, version, okay? And I'll leave the version inside uh, the video description for you so you can download it there. And I've also got the Windows 10. I'll show you how to get that also in a bit. So let's first go into our C root directory of our C drive. And we need to create a folder inside here. Create new folder. And just call this uh, WinPE. Just as I'm... Uh, going to show you right here. So just do WinPE. Now inside uh, the WinPE folder you want to create another folder and we're just going to call this source. So just uh, type that out inside there. And this is going to be for our Windows okay. Now you can use the, the mounted version of Windows but this is a lot quicker and uh, builds a lot quicker so so let's go ahead and uh, set this all up so we've got our WinPE folder here and our source folder inside here and those WinPE is where your uh, Win Builder version is going to be so I've got this here so let me extract all by right clicking extract all and now we can navigate to the WinPE folder in our C root directory let's go there this PC C drive and inside here and then select folder and you can see it's now selected it here so we now we can click on extract and that will take a bit of time and just uh, let that extract okay so I'll speed this process up so it doesn't bore you uh, but basically it's just going to extract all the files and folders uh, from uh, that zip file and put it into our WinPE folder there we go so what we need to do now is get a version of Windows 10 and uh, you can see here you have to use the right version here so you've got a source folder and this is empty so we're going to put our version of Windows 10 inside there. So you can go over to this website here and download uh, the executable file and open this up here and this will allow you to get all the versions of Windows 10 uh, that you want. Okay, So we're just going to open this up let that populate there we go and uh, what we want to do here is select the radio button up here saying Windows 10 and this will give us the list of Windows 10 that we can download now it's important that you use the right version of Windows 10 with this uh, version of WinBuilder otherwise it won't work so we're going to go for the Windows 10 full creators update uh, the September version we're going to go for Windows 10 home and pro now there is another version here as you can see which is the March version but we're going to get the latest version here. Now you may run into problems if you use certain versions with certain versions of Windows 10 so just use the ones that I'm showing you here and you should be okay. All we need to do here is choose our language and uh, this will be English for us and then click on confirm and it will validate your request and take you to the page where you can now download the version you want 32 bit or 64 bit I'm going for the Windows 10 1709 64 bit version so just download that from here let me go to the desktop I'm going to save that on there okay that's how you get the correct version of Windows 10 uh, for your uh, build okay there we go so here we have that here and we can mount this now by right clicking and click mount. This will mount this and now we can see all the files inside so I'm going to right click and copy this and put it into our source folder inside our C drive, WinPE and then source. Inside here paste all those files inside here like that. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And the reason why we're doing it this way is because it will be a lot quicker 
uh, than reading from the mounted drive so it's a lot easier this way so we'll just quickly copy all these files inside here now if you've never used a WinPE before they're awesome for fixing computer issues uh, this is the base model so if you want to add in your own portable apps you can do and if you want to see that video let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you and uh, if you want to see anything else about this software or any other uh, things let me know in the comment section so we're going to run the build SE and uh, say yes to the user account control here and here we have the actual program now we're not going to go too much into this what we're going to do here is just set a basic uh, WinPE with this software here so you can see here it gives you some simple steps here um, it says to find the Windows 10 uh, folder with all the files is recommended so we're going to go to the source tab up the top source directory and just click on that folder icon there and just navigate to the place where you put all your Windows 10 files which was in our C drive inside WinPE and then in source so just click on OK and now we are in the correct place there so everything is should should be good to go here now again this is just a basic uh, setup if you want to do other things we can cover this in another video I've done loads of videos on this sort of stuff but if you want to see more updated stuff then let me know and you can see here we do have uh, 123 set out here when you look at the config area here it just gives you an idea of what you want to do here and set this up so I'm just going to show you here the basics uh, basics for setting this up and getting it running without any errors okay because that seems to be what the people are having problems with is getting errors and then uh, it's not working so once you've got all your settings here set right you can just hit the uh, blue play button uh, which is up the top right hand corner and this will then start the process of building uh, your WinPE you've got your main configuration here and loads of other bits I'm not going to go through all of this in this video so I'm just going to go ahead now once I get this set up and hit the play button and this will then go ahead and start to build our Windows 10 PE so let me just uh, speed this process up because it does take a bit of time and you will need to be patient here because it needs to configure it and get it all right now obviously the more changes you make the more errors you could run into so if you just want a basic base model then this could be uh, the one for you but if you want to start getting complicated with it and adding in uh, scripts and other sort of portable apps then you could start running into a lot of errors and you will need to correct those before you get a working uh, WinPE so you can see here I'm just extracting all this stuff it's just going through the motions here and I'll speed this process up so once this is complete if you've not removed any ticks or disabled anything it will try to load into the QEMU and this will give us an idea of what our build will look like so this will take a bit of time because it is loading uh, into memory here so we're just going to let this load up and uh, I'm going to let this finish off and you'll be able to see what it looks like now obviously uh, you just may, need to make sure that when you're building uh, these WinPEs that you don't run into any errors because any errors are going to cause problems and you won't be able to complete the build so you can see here it is loading up and we didn't have any errors and that's the most important part here and there we go and that will be slow loading up into here but if you booted this to uh, a computer on a USB flash drive it will load up a lot quicker so there we go so we're just going to take a look here and there we go we have a completed version and it's working fine and that's basically how you can make a base model of the uh, WinPE here from WinBuilder you can just download this and build it yourself now if you want to add in all your own apps and stuff like that you can do uh, and that's another more advanced complex video uh, but it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and these are a must-have better kit for any sort of PC repair tech or any sort of enthusiast who likes to fix computers and stuff like that it's still loading up here you can see it's not fully loaded here but you can customize this how you like and change the wallpaper you can uh, add in all your own apps and stuff like that and put your own mark on it it's very easy and it's a very useful way of making your own WinPEs 
anyway i think i'm going to wrap this one up i think that covers everything in this video if you want to see more on this then let me know in the comment section below what you want to see and this will create an iso file for you so we can close this off here now and uh have a look at that i'll show you where it is so you can see you've got your other little tabs here which you can make changes to and disable and enable stuff if you know what you're doing and uh, we can close this off because we have our completed uh, build i'll quickly show you where that is so let me go back to our c root directory and go into our WinPE. and you can see iso you can see the iso it has created right here uh, 700 odd megabytes in size so the more stuff you add to it the bigger the size of that um, ISO will become now it's still not too late to enter my giveaway you've got one more day left and uh, I'll leave the link in a video description I will announce that on uh, Twitter and also on my Facebook the winners if you want to contact me then I will uh, do my best to send those keys out to you anyway I think that's going to be about it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.